right? Shout out to Juan Bach Young. And first and foremost, we want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakabadash. A double honor star, Apostles, Great Millstone, Ruel, Peace and Blessings to the House of David, the Ule. And this lesson is titled um, Pursuance of Deuteronomy 32 32. It says, For that bind is of the bind of Solomon. And we're going to get an article from nationalnews.com. And Lord William, this will be edifying to you, brothers and you sisters out there listening. The article is entitled California Middle School Now Teaching 10 year, Ten year Olds How to Put on Condoms, Engage in Sodomy, and Use Sex Toys. Uh, this was dated for June 10, 2019, on Monday by Ethan Huff. Uh, whereas children of this age would have been innocently romping around the playground, jumping rope, playing dodgeball, and climbing across the monkey bars 50 years ago. Ten-year-olds today are reportedly now being taught in public school how to engage in sodomy, use condoms, and play with sex toys. Okay, okay. And um, this is all of, like a homosexual agenda by the elites who run the society, the so-called, you know, the people that the world know as Illuminati, you know, who actually run the society, and that's part of the new world order is have everybody be in tune with this homosexual agenda. And um, it's all. Um, Psalms 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine the same thing? Yep. And this is going to uh, the elites who actually run the society. Why do they imagine <coughs> the same thing? Meaning, like, they want to achieve a new world order and they think everybody's going to be uh, subject to them. But according to biblical prophecy, the Alba is going to upset that. Okay. Verse 2. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Most High and against his anointed one. Anointing, same. Yep, and uh, the Lord's anointing starting with the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans. We compose of the 12 tribes of Israel. So even though they want to knock down this new world order for the whole world, but mainly they want to get our people more subjected to this homosexual agenda. That's why they push out the celebrities of our people, and they put that, that agenda on our people, that, that vibration on our people. That's why you see a lot of kids nowadays, they have that blonde hair. Uh, different type of shades of dye in their hair now, and they have an effeminate spirit. You know what it is? They wear them tight clothes. Too. Exactly. Yeah, 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 they yeah, they tight make, clothing. They do that in there in college with this new culture. This is mm -hmm. a new thing. Yep. It's actually part of the gay agenda. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You walk around with the tight head clothes on. Man. Mm -hmm. And that really started when uh, Lil Wayne you know, started coming up like around 2007 or 8. Mm -hmm. you know, they started wearing those leggings. Mm -hmm. And you just started seeing a lot of young jakes. They saw our father after that, you know? Yeah, you know, before the, before the, it was like the rockers mm -hmm. were wearing them, 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 them tight things. But now yeah. rap is the, is the new rock and roll, really. Yeah. 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 So Jim Jones did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because rock, they were known for being drug addicts mm -hmm. and doing drugs. Now it's just rap. Yeah. Hopping wow. rallies and that. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember, uh, like, back in the day, like early 2000s, you had what Dip said. And they went from like the big t shirts and then Jim Jones came with the mm -hmm. fitted t shirts with the skulls on and the chains the chains on the, the, the rock style and then it manifests into leggings and things of that nature. It goes to show you how Esau used like uh rap, you know, to, to manipulate society, especially like young kids as far as what they how they want them to move. Mm -hmm. And even uh uh what you call it, Edomites, you know, they listen to rap too, so they're subjected as well, man. Three, let us break the bands asunder, cast away their cords from from us. Yep. Verse four, he that sit in the heaven, he that sit in heaven shall lag. The most I should have them in derision. Okay. So y'all about Shosha is going to upset the new world order, you know. And um, for the definition of sodomy, just you know, bring that out. This is from the free dictionary dot com. It says any of various forms of sexual acts regarded as perverted. Especially anal intercourse, oral anal contact, or sexual intercourse with an animal. So that's what Sodom was known for, you know, and that's what this uh, America, aka Babylon the Great, that's what the vibration they push out as well. They follow the same examples of ancient Sodom and Gomorrah and those other cities was like minded, you know. Mm -hmm. 
So this is uh, y'all got it. Yeah, please talk about it. You know, this the month is uh, Pride Month. Yeah, Gay Pride. Gay, gay, gay Pride yeah. Month. So you know, they pushing me for that. All came out when? June. June. So this the month. You know, they yeah. pushing that Pride. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is Ecclesiasticus 10 and 1. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Verse 2 As the judge of the people is himself. If I could just expound on that, please. That goes to show you who's running this society. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. This, this society is the reflection of who's running this society. Mm -hmm. All right. That's right. Verse 2 As the judge of the people is himself. So are, his, so are his officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. You know, because the um, the elites who run society, you know, we are know by you know spiritually they they, they faggots, man. So they're gonna push that vibration on those people that's under them, like they different governors, mayors, senators, all these different politicians. Mm -hmm. that, that vibration is on them too. And these are the same people that our people want to go vote for. You know, right. Right? You know uh, you to have faith in. And at the same time, these are the same people pushing this homosexual agenda on your little kids. Come on. Yeah. Like uh, with the former, well, he still may be um, mayor of New York, uh, Giuliani. Mm -hmm. you know, he dresses drag. Yeah, he do. You know what I'm saying? And then he'll have the balls the next day, put on a suit like nothing happened. Come on. You know, verse 3. And unwise king destroy his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be happy. Yeah. And this homosexual agenda is destroying people because it's no good thing you can name that comes from this homosexual shit, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because Yah Bashar Shah, he wanted us to uh, populate, you know? Okay. And as doing that, you have to have a male and female that have to have intercourse together. You can't do that by having male and male and female and female contact. Mm -hmm. So that's that depopulation agenda that Esau is trying to push out in the masses. Last verse. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Okay. Well, it's going to be an outside. Mm -hmm. That military coup, and the saints will take the kingdom. It's like on, on this demonic side, if you ain't running uh, the, your, your country right, Esau will come and send a military coup. But you ain't running the world right, nigga. Right. So you know, Esau will come and send a, 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 a military coup, man. Thank you. 
got number, high grade of floor shells they feel. And that's why the slang of the Lord gonna be from one end of the earth to the other. But nothing but wickedness is being uh, uh, reproduced here and there. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. It got to the point where they get, uh, they got, uh, you know, uh, 10 year old, 9 year old, elementary student, all right, educating them about sodomy and, and, and sexual toys, man. Mm -hmm. You know? How wicked. How much more wicked can this place get, man? It's pedophilia, man. It's pedophilia, man. You got grown teachers instructing the damn fifth grader on how to have sex and how to uh, have uh, sodomite sex, man. You a damn pedophile, man. I had a quick question about these. I can't remember that name. Psalms 12 and 8. The wicked walk on every side when the balanced men are exalted. At this point, the wicked are you damn faggots, man. Faggots, you dykes, you pedophiles, you LGBT, all that BS, man. When the balanced men are exalted, which goes right back to Sirach the Tent chapter, all right, the way is the way the king your souls the people under him, man. Mm -hmm. When the balanced men are exalted, man, you Edomites, man. You rock childs, man. Because yeah. y'all let these people get away with it. You, uh -huh. you actually, you know what I'm saying? You ruined that type of behavior. You were sensitive. Yeah, right. Because basically, when we was ruling things of that nature, basically what the scripture says, you're supposed to kill off that person. Right. You know what I'm saying? To what? To, yeah. to clear that land or, you know, to clear that land from evil. Right. But like the brother just read, it's on every side. Why? Because there's no standards. Right. Right. It, it, it's spread like a cancer now. Yeah. Right. Like one thing, uh, cancer stage called metastasis, it starts spreading all throughout the body. And that's what this American philosophy bars this homosexual agenda has been like. Uh, first, you had like these different types of gangster rappers and all of them. They was like all against that. Or you hear about Jake in the Hood, you know, so we had some type of rank. You know, they'll chase a faggot back mm -hmm. in the day. But now these people are becoming more acceptable of this shit, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Even one of the faggots. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. Mm -hmm. The bigger the faggot. You should be running right faggots off the bigger faggots, yeah. yeah. But see, that goes to show you the, the, the power and conditioning. The more you make it cool, whether it's through music, or yeah. television, ads, so on and so forth, you're putting that shit in people's subconscious to accept it. Yeah. And now, and then years later, it manifests, well, yeah. you know what, I'm not no judge, yeah. it's me that, yeah. or that's them, and so on and so forth. But just 20, 30 years yeah. ago, when me and this brother was growing up and that brother, that shit wasn't happening, man. Yeah. You couldn't push that agenda like that. Predict, predictive programs. Yeah, predictive programs. Predictive programs. You, know, you know, they predicted it. They programmed it, they predicted it, and they put it out there, and 20, 30 years later, it manifested. Yeah. And some they created, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I also call it inculcated. They inculcate their culture, you know. Um, this is um, 2nd Esther 4 and 28. But as concerning the things were of, I ask me, I would tell thee, for, for even if some destruction thereof is not yet come. Verse 29. But therefore, therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down. If, and if the place where the evil is sown has not a way, then can then cannot cannot then cannot it come the song is good. So so basically and, and you how about to come back, take out Esau. Esau, Edom, Esau took a white people. They all they don't want pushing pushing this evil. They they want pushing this, this pedophilia. They want push they pushing this this uh homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Um really whatever going on in the world, they want pushing right now because they power. But it the good cannot come unless the evil is be taken away. And on and on probably gonna, gonna take it away gonna be Yahweh about some shot. Mm -hmm. So the world this world not gonna be right. Um, it, the world not gonna be right. Until the most I come back. Mm -hmm. Right now, everybody upside down, inside out. Right. Cause you got women over us. You got uh, children over us. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. men rights is, is out the window. Right. And I mean, soon it's it gonna be a crime to be here right. session. Right. It's gonna be it, 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 it gonna be that bad though. Like an article says, this according to a former public school teacher turned whistleblower who says that the new education standards and the Golden State are so beyond the point of Ukraine <coughs> that most parents, if they really knew the truth, would be marching on these indoctrination centers with pitchforks in hand. Mm -hmm. It's shocking to 
says Rebecca Fragments, founder of the group for kids and country about the unspeakable evil taking place in California's public middle schools. It is mentally risky on multiple levels, she says, about curriculum that involves having 10-year-old girls put condoms on prosthetic male erections while 10-year-old boys watch or having 10-year-olds of both sexes practice Engaging in oral and anal sex. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you send your your child off to school, thinking they about to learn something beneficial, and you have, and you come and find out that they have, uh, what you, what you learn today, uh, daughter? Uh, I put a condom on a prosthetic male erection. You know yeah, what I'm saying? like that should make you furious, man. And where's yeah. where's the outcry of the people, man? What, why does this not on the news? People protesting against this. Man. You're supposed to be learning about reading, yeah, arithmetic, yeah. pronunciations, and so on and so forth, man. Yeah, man. Especially a teen, man, a teen. Yeah. Man, you know, you sex education, that's a class. You know what I'm saying? You you be about 13, 14. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? You, know, you right. learn about, you know, sex and the, and the, and the disease and trying yeah. to keep people yeah. aware of shit. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. But this shit they got going on, that's a whole nother level, yeah. man. Like the brother said, man, that, that, that's nothing but pedophilia being yeah. pushed out, man. Ain't nobody having no type of outcry about that, you know? Hey, get on. Um, what you doing, bro? Because it goes into, it says about the curriculum. You know, you look at the word curriculum and the enemy online, it goes to like a course. So, like, this is a course being pushed out by Esau's philosophy. Okay. Right. I hit 232, 32. Well, they're, they're buying these other vines of Sodom mm. down the field of the moor. And the grapes are great, are gone. The cluster Vines poison, poison of a dragon, and crude, and crude venom, venom, yeah. venom of an ant. Yep, and that poison is talking about this doctrine of Esau, man. All these different philosophies, you know, all these different, um, you know, democracy things, that's such. And this main thing he loves to push out is that homosexual agenda. And you look up different New World Order programs, you see it, that homosexual agenda is like one of the top things they're trying to do. Because they're trying to depopulate the uh, earth. You know, and part of the, uh, Georgia Guidestone, it said maintain human population under 500 million. And by the way, they're doing that, they're trying to do that depopulation program, man. And then right now, they're programming the kids to be, become more acceptable of this. Now you got these little kids, when they see two men kissing their own hands, they okay with that, man, because they were taught from a young age, it's a right to do. It's like when we was coming up, we thought, you know, and we still do, that it's okay for a male and female to hold hands and kiss and things like that. You know, and we always like, ugh, when we see two men holding hands. But now it's always switch around. How they, they have the kids that are nowadays being okay, more acceptable of it, man. Right. Yeah. Right, uh, Isaiah 5 and uh, 20. Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. They put darkness for light and light for darkness. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You said that homosexuality is good, but according to your how about shot, that's a perverse action, man. And that's an action that's called, you know, it can lead to your death. And that's why it says in I've got it's in Deuteronomy, I said there should be no sodomite like thou sons of Israel. Your how about shot, he states it all throughout the law that nah, he's against that, man. Yeah. And you parents are suckers, man. Right. You know, even to, to come across this article, because basically you got the curriculum in some form, some fashion. You know, whether if, if, if it was like a hard copy or if your kids basically just taught you what they're doing in the school system, man, right. and you still don't have any integrity by going up there and goddamn it removing your child, man. You know, that doesn't make sense. You're willingly assisting Esau to indoctrinate your uh, your child with this bullshit, you know. Yeah, that's what makes you good, man. Yeah, uh, you did a public school, though? I mean, yeah, it's like you're going to like California middle school. But you know, uh, a couple of years ago, it started off like a hand start out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would yeah. have to read a book called My Two Dads. Yeah. Or some shit. Hey, just think of what you were saying about it. This Proverbs 17, 15. He that justify the wicked, and he that condemned the just. Right, yeah. and you justify the wicked by promoting that, okay? And not telling your child, hey, this is wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, well, hey, this is how it used to be, but now it's okay, it's acceptable. Yeah. That's justification of the wicked. Yeah. You have these different uh, rappers and celebrities that be like, uh, you know, I'm not part of it, but hey, it's them. They can live that life. Oh, you justifying it. Look at Jay-Z. Yeah. Now his mom is gay. 
and be pushed it that way, it's cool to be gay now. Yeah. You know? Rapper yeah, Scarface, you know, you know, he he's okay with shit like that now. But just look at their countenance nowadays because they indulge in that shit right now. Oh boy indeed, yeah. Yep, and it said he that justified the wicked and he that condemned the just, even they both are abomination to you. How about your own shot? Yeah. Because if you condemn something, it means you're punishing it, man. So basically, you condemn us by us saying, preaching from the Bible, like, yeah. look, according to the scriptures, this is going on. Yeah. But you want to kill us yeah. and basically, you know, Demons take out, terrorists. yeah, name us a terrorist, man. Yeah. Why? Because we're coming straight out the scriptures, man. Uh, Revelations 8, Revelations 11 and 8. And that dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Yeah. That's spiritual Sodom and Egypt. You know, and you don't, you don't need no video to see that this Sodom. Association, there's no type of outcry about things like that. Mm -hmm. 
you know, it's okay for a grown man to have a little boy as, you know, his partner, as a sexual partner in it. And you go back to ancient Rome, you would see that it was yeah. it was okay for a man to have a little twelve year old or a little boy younger than that. You know, especially like a Roman soldier as a as a sexual partner. That was very popular during those times. So this is like Rome two point oh, this is Greece two point oh, this is ancient Egypt two point oh, the list goes on. Alright, let's take some. It's shocking, says Rebecca Fredericks, founder of the group for kids in the country, about the unspeakable evils taking place in California's public middle schools. It is medically risky on multiple levels. She says about curriculum that involves having 10 year old girls put condoms on prosthetic mental erections while 10 year old boys watch. Having ten year olds of both sex sexes practice engaging in formal and anal sex. Yep. Now jump down to the category that says cult or LGBTQ. Alright. Cult of LGBTQ says California parents can't opt their children out of sex indoctrination because doing so would be bullying. And this is this is what uh, Esau's venom. Read about in Deuteronomy 32 and 32. So now you try to opt your kids out of, out of receiving this curriculum, you're going to be looked at as, as a bully, according to Esau. And that goes to show you you're not free. You have no freedom. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That, that, this alone shows that you cannot do whatever you want to in this society. The thing is, you just got a longer chain. Some people have a longer chain and they're able to move around more frequent than others. You know? That's too. Mm. I'm saying it too. It's how you know your kids, not your kids. Have no control of your kids. If you tell your kids that I'm playing or tell them that you be talking about this, it's all your bullying. It's bullshit. All right. As for students, you want to keep going with that? Okay. As for students in California who are now being systematically subjected to this type of LGBTQ insanity, parents are reportedly prohibited from opting them out of it because doing so says the cult of LGBTQP would constitute bullying. If it's this anti-bullying campaign so that LGBT children don't get bullied because they claim there's, there's this big problem with bullying of, of those children. Frederick Salem says, pointing out the irony of the cult of LGBTQP bullying parents by Disallowing, disallowing, disallowing them authority over their own children's schooling. What the unions do is they push their agenda by saying, we have to stop all this bullying so every single child in America needs to be exposed to this anti-bullying in the form of gender spectrum and gender identity. Frederick's adds, it's caused a lot of confusion for parents here because parents will say, oh, I don't need to worry, I can opt out. Well, you can't opt out of all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's <coughs> the point of the article right there. And we're going to get into the structure and the scriptures of any place that follow the same examples as Sodom and Gomorrah, what they're going to receive. All right, it's Jude 1 and 7. It says, even at Sodom and Gomorrah, Cities about them like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. And eternal fire is going to those nuclear missiles that Yahweh Shai has set up for all these different countries to arrange, and they're going to shoot their nuclear missiles on America, aka Babylon the Great. Then you're also going to have the chariots of the Most High, they're going to get their bid in on America too. That's right, yeah. yeah. Female, female, yeah. male, male, yeah. male, boy. Transgender. Transgender. Bestiality. Bestiality. Yeah. Pedophilia. No. Yeah, all that's a strange flesh, and according to you, how about y'all shot? Right. This is uh, 2 Peter 2 6. Turn the city of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes, prohibit them to overthrow, make it them an example to those that live, that, to those. I 
Dr. Shope uh, had an example in uh, how he did Solomon Gomorrah. This is what he's going to do to, to whoever lived like them. He's he, he going to drop the missiles on, on, on a marriage who else lived like uh, how Solomon Gomorrah lived. In other cities, too. Mm-hmm. Because the most high made male and female. Not no damn male and male, not female and female. It's male and female together. So, you know, Esau was saying, uh, the law, the, the book, the Bible, the law of land, but you don't follow not one, one, one thing in the Bible, man. Not one thing. And, and, you, and you see why the most high is going to judge America, man. Because these, these people out of the way, the home center or, or, or out of the way, everything, everything fucked up. Psalm 94 and uh, for who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Yep, and that's talking with the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, what if we're a part of that hopeful elect? You know, because we see the evil doing this, you know, going on here, and we call it out to Esau's face. And that's why we're going to be deemed as terrorists, and uh, we're going to uh, pursue all these different persecutions from these people because we're coming against the grain of America. When you come against this grain, you're going to be looked at as terrorists, as a bad guy. So that's something we have to spiritually prepare for. Because that's something, you know, you don't see any other group that's doing out there. But the men of the Lord, man. Right? Let's jump down to the last verse, bro. Um, Psalm 94 and 23. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yep, this is how about Shah Shah, he's going to upset Esau with his own iniquity. He's trying to achieve and do his new world order, but you have Shah Shah had his own new world order in the sick and program, you know? The yay, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Yep, and that's what we, you know, we're hoping and uh, quietly waiting for. You have Shah Shah to come back and reset this planet Earth, you know, in his hands, you know? Hey, hey, brother, stay woke. A plug from the Matrix. Don't get lost in the sauce. Then we hope all you brothers are edified. We'll give all that door to. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, or Kakadash. Don't understand. Possibly great millstone rule well. Peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. Shalom. Shalom.